Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Kendomic Food Review just for you. I am in Tokyo, Japan with my buddy Paul from Critical Eats Japan who's been showing me around. And one night when we were starving, uh, we came out and ate ramen at uh, this place called Fukuchan Ramen. And uh, I have this thing called Hakata Champon and uh, it is Nakis, Nakis, Nakisai style ramen and pork broth, salted, creamy flavor, stir fried pork, seafoods, vegetables, uh, deep fried fish cake, green onion, leek on top. And I had that and, and I took a picture, put on my Instagram and a whole bunch of you guys said, I hope we get a food review of that. And then I, I, we were thinking, oh my gosh, I can't believe we didn't videotape that. So I apologize we didn't videotape the first time around, but now I'm videotaping it because if you come to this area of Japan, try this place, again, Fuku-chan. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah, Fuku-chan. Uh, I just wanna make sure I said it right, guys. Uh, try this, and it was amazing. So one of the things I put on it was sesame seeds, and this is like a grinder. It's not like a shaker where it just comes out, it actually grinds it, and it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. There we go. That was the only thing. And once again, we're eating inside a restaurant, so there will be noises and other things going on. So bear with me. Oh, it smells good. As soon, soon as that, they get crushed out of sesame seed. So uh, what kind of beer did we get again? Or is that, that's the actual name? Yeah, that's the... Uh, Kieran beer. And uh, so we had a couple of those too. Paul ordered these. Yeah. And what are they? That's gyoza. Gyoza? Gyoza. So there's deep fried, or they're dumplings. Pan fried, yeah, dumplings, yeah. Hotstickers is another word. Okay. I'm just gonna bring this a little bit closer so you guys can scratch it, sniff it. This is definitely gonna be all mine, guys. So, yes, I've had it before. This is my second time. Oh, I should have chopsticks and the thing, right? Thanks, bud. So, you got your spoon for your broth, you got your chopsticks for everything else. Let's get in there and get a piece of this fish. I'm sure that's Mmm. Mmm, so good. I don't know what this is. It's like a, a piece of pork or ham. Like one side's white, one side's white. Oh, right, okay. Mm. And they got this thing. Mm. That's probably pork. Right? Yeah, that's pork. This little piece of pork. I did not know how good ramen was until I came to Japan. I've had ramen before, not like this. I've never gone to like a ramen shop in Toronto, but uh, I'm gonna try and visit a couple more next time in Toronto. See, and I'll try and compare them, see who has a better ramen. So, it's a lot of food. And how much was this? Oh, it was 900, 950 yen. Mm -hmm. $9.50 American, probably like ten fifty to $11 Canadian. I don't remember how much the beer was. Three? Yeah, it's a happy hour now is 300. Oh, right. In the neighborhood, it'll be 500. It's like seven o'clock or something. Yeah. So drink up. Oh boy. I really wish you guys could share. I could share this with you guys because it is, like I said, super creamy, savory. Really hot. Oops. Oh, sure, thank you. I stuck my uh, chopsticks into my food and that's a no-no. I'm not allowed to do that. I'm not supposed to do that. So Paul offered me up one of his dumplings. Mmm. Gyoza, very nice. Is that pork inside? Do you think? Maybe a mix of things. Using a mix of vegetables and things and maybe a bit of pork. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's fried pork dumplings with mixture of cabbage and uh, ground pork. 300 yen for those. Mm. 300, and it was five or six? Five. Five, right. So earlier on today, the reason Paul's not eating a meal <laughs> is earlier on today he went to uh, Carl's Jr. Yes. And what street was that? Uh, I don't know the street, but that was Akihabara. That okay. area was Akihabara. Okay. So uh, if you want to go check out what Carl's Jr. Li is like in Tokyo, Japan, go over to, to Paul's channel, check it out. I was his camera operator. You can judge me all you want. <laughs> Oh, look at this, and this broth oh, yeah. is amazing. There's one thing I keep forgetting to tell you, Ken. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. You did it again. I apologize. Every time you start a meal in, J in Japan, usually we say, Tadakimasu. Tadaki? Tadakimasu. So, how do you say the first? E Itadaki. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Close? Itadakimasu. Dakimasu. Close enough. I tried. Enough. <laughs> I will have to, have to write it down. I apologize. Yeah. Phonetically, we keep forgetting. Yeah. Mm. I, I never do it either, so... These noodles, look how yellow they are. It's like that, I guess they're like an egg noodle. That's how they get them so yellow, or is it, is it yellow because of the broth? Mm. Wow. If we had a really cool ramen place near my house, I'd go there at least twice a week. At least. Because that is so good. Especially in the winter time, eh? I'd be interested to know if this, if this does better in the winter time, like more people go out and eat hot ramen. Yeah. Okay. Hi. It would be very comforting, especially in a cold day, yeah. I'm just gonna have a few more bites in front of you just to tease you guys. Because that is wonderful. I was trying to find oh there is another piece of seafood. Mm. I'm not sure that was. Very small. Yeah. And they're all scattered throughout the meal. Yeah. Could it be a... Oh, it's like... Um, is that the leaf or the... Maybe? It almost tastes like a piece of um, scallop. Oh, maybe. That's what it tastes like. Oh, okay. Has that consistency. Nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I am starving all the time. I'm going to polish this off and I'll be right back. Hang on. Try to any other ramens at this place, but that is a go out and get it now. Plus, next time you're in Tokyo, Japan, come by this restaurant. I'll leave a link in the description. I think they have a Facebook and everything. Come by, eat the same thing I did. Excuse me, that's how good it was. Once again, I'd like to thank Paul from Crickle East Japan for showing me around Tokyo. Thank you very much, buddy. There will be a link in the description below. Go check him out. We're trying to get him to 10,000 subscribers. Between me and you, let's get this done. If you enjoyed watching this video of me eating a huge bowl of ramen, please hit that subscribe button and see you don't miss the next video here in Japan. But if you want to show your support for me doing this for you, hit that like button. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic Food Review. Ken Domic out. I'd like to thank Paul from Critically Japan for showing me around. There's no more beer. Hey, maybe I shouldn't have had the beer.